If I Ran the Rainforest by Bonnie Wirth, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz, The Cat in the Hats, Learning Library, published by Random House in New York City. I'm the cat in the hat, and it's time that we get to go to a place that is steamy and wet. It is a rainforest. The reason is clear. About 100 inches of rain falls each year. Down at the equator, I'll show it to you. Your mother won't mind very much if I do. To a tropical rainforest, off we will go. There are three other kinds I think you should know. Sunglasses, so cool. The seasonal kind has months that are dry. A cloud rain forest sits 3,000 feet high. Uh, a mangrove rainforest grows on the coast. Rain falls on the tropical rainforest most. Dear Sally and Dick, for your information, the reason it's rainy is called transpiration. See how they broke that word up? tran spi ra -tion. Transpiration. Transpiration. Plants lose water through pores in their leaves, like little breathing areas. Warm, wet air rises into the sky. Heat rises. Wet air cools and forms rain clouds. Plants soak up rain through their roots. Anyways, that's called transpiration. A rainforest has four floors. You might say, we'll visit each one, so please step this way. My umbrella vader will give the best view to the uppermost floor it will take me and you. Emergence is the word that we use to call these trees that grow up 300 feet tall. They're at the fourth floor. Boing! To the emergence level. Those trees are very high. Very high. Boing! Can you say boing? <laughs> they might be quite tall, but I'm here to report their roots don't go deep, but they still give support. But rest roots grow. Buttress roots grow. Above ground like a fan to keep trees from falling. That is nature's plan. Who makes their home here? Those who like heights best? An eagle named Harpy here makes her high nest. Harpy the eagle, ooh, she looks very mad. This gaggle of parrots of colorful hue are macaws of scarlet and yellow and blue. Now we will go down to floor three, where lower treetops form the green canopy. It keeps rain and sun off the floors down below. It's also the place where the epiphytes grow. Epiphytes. It keeps rain and sun off the floors down below. It's also the place where the epiphytes grow. These plants have roots that hang here and there. They suck up the moisture right out of the air. Look at all their roots. Oh, see all those vines the flowers and they... So these plants have roots that hang here and there. They suck up the moisture 
right out of the air. What are these animals? Howler monkeys, lianas, sloths, toucans, orchids, tree frogs. Ooh, pretty orchids. Right there. The canopy is the most crowded of spots. Here, monkeys and tree frogs and birds can eat lots of fruits, nuts, and bugs, and the nectar of flowers. It is noisy around here, and it's busy all hours. Some animals here I have just found live their whole lives without touching the ground. Red-eyed tree frogs. How many can you count? One, two, three, four, five, and six. The wet leaves are slippery, movement is tricky, and that's why their toes and their fingers are sticky. With glue. In the canopy, hark, the hummingbirds hum over 200 kinds. That is quite a large sum. The hummingbird sips at the nectar from blooms. From flower to flower, it flits and it zooms. This little bird helps the flowers to grow because pollen sticks to its body and so. When the pollen gets brushed from its feet and its head, it causes the pollen to scatter and spread. Ooh, like that. There's the hummingbird, and there's the little, there's the little pollen-like. Pitcher plants. The bugs fall in and can't get out. This plant gives an insect a most deadly ride. It slips when it sips and gets trapped inside. Strangler fig. If this plant can't root, it will grow on another. The vines twine and squeeze and then finally smother. The understory is the next stop. Floor two, ding! I'm afraid not much sun can make its way through. These vines and ferns grow where it's dim and it's hot. Spider monkey lives here and the wild ocelot. Camouflage, camouflage is the word to describe a design that makes things blend in and so hard to find. Find six hidden things and you'll win a prize. The sure way to win is to sharpen your eyes. Okay, Maddie, you find it. What is that? A snake. Okay. And um, a bug that looks like a walking stick, but it um, helps. It helps him um, that predators are trying to find us. They're scared. It's a walking stick, but it's really a bug. And that's a moth. You gotta speak up. And that's um, a... Wait, I'm thinking. A lizard. And a slaw. Oh, oh, it's a sloth. Sloth. And one more thing, that's a bird. Last stop, the first floor. The doors open wide. And when we look out, it is quite dark outside. Is anyone home? At first, you'd say not. There's mostly leaf litter, dead plants, and some rot. 
But jaguars prowl, snakes slink and they slither, insects and spiders creep yon and hither. Now look even closer and you will find among the life here, spiders, ants, scorpions, centipedes, funky mushrooms, jaguar, snake, worst thing one and thing two. Is our own humankind. For thousands of years they've lived here unharmed. They've hunted and some of them even have farmed. They know where to find the food for a meal. They know which plants poison. They know which plants heal. Oh, cute little doggy. You've seen all four floors. See if you can list them. These four floors make up a complete ecosystem. But something has happened within recent years. A thing that is going to drive me <laughs> to <laughs> tears. Millions of acres of land every year are cut down for reasons too long to list here. Millions of acres of land every year are cut down for reasons too long to list here. If I ran the rainforest, you know what I'd do? I'd make a few changes. That's just what I'd do. Howler monkey, howler monkeys, harpy eagles, eaglets, spider monkeys, macaws, toucans, sloths, native human, snakes, jaguars, centipedes, kinkajous, ocelots. I like them a lot. And eagles. Okay. I'd say, chop somewhere else, people. Leave us these trees. Don't cut them down. <laughs> Save these trees, please. The Glossary. Acre, a piece of land that was originally equal to the area that a team of oxen could plow in one day. An area is about the size of a football field. Buttress, to support or hold up. Camouflage, to hide by blending in or being disguised. Ecosystem, a group of animals and plants that live together as a single unit Emergent, a tall tree that pokes through the forest canopy like it emerges from the canopy. Epiphyte, an air plant that thrives on the branches or trunk of another plant. An imaginary circle running, oh, sorry, equator, an imaginary circle running around the earth that lies an equal distance from the north and south poles. Hither and yon, an old-time way to say here and there. Hue, a shade of color. Nectar, the sweet liquid found inside flowers which bees use to make honey. Pollen, the fine dust found inside flowers which helps them reproduce new flowers. 